Starting a business is a major leap of faith and can be a serious strain on your finances while you're building your business towards profitability. However, it's always better for the entrepreneur to do everything that he or she can on her own before she takes outside investment. So here are some tips for bootstrapping your business. capital is always expensive, in the short term due to the time and effort needed to secure it, and in the long term due to the necessity of giving up equity and or paying interest in exchange for that capital. Therefore, entrepreneurs should try to bootstrap their businesses for as long as possible before accepting outside money so that they have time to develop the business and obtain better funding terms. Now, this does not mean waiting until your bank account balance is at zero to start looking for capital or planning your growth strategy. But it does mean to be frugal and make wise internal investments before becoming reliant on outside sources of cash. So, in the spirit of running lean, here are some of the best tips that I've heard for bootstrapping your business. Tip number one, start your business as a side hustle. Yes, having a regular job and trying to start your own business on the side can be very taxing, but nobody said entrepreneurship was easy. Having a steady influx of cash to help cover your expenses while your startup gets going is invaluable. Try getting a job with flexible hours or maybe even going part-time if you have to. But keeping a steady paycheck until you've proven your concept and gotten a few customers will make your life much less stressful in the long term. Tip number two, barter. If you have a product or service that you can exchange for another product or service that you need, do it. One of the biggest issues that new companies have is with cash flow, so spending time instead of cash is one of the smartest things that you can do for your business. Don't get too crazy with it so that you're spending all of your time on barter agreements and not running your company, but if a time investment makes more sense than a cash investment, do it. Figure out your effective hourly rate and then decide if you should pay or barter for a particular service. Then, if you're a web designer, do an accountant site to get your books and taxes taken care of. If you're a daycare center, watch your lawyer's child so that you don't have to pay her hourly rate. Do whatever you can to keep cash in your pocket. Tip number three, utilize interns. Interns are an amazing source of free or inexpensive labor. If you hire correctly, you can get top talent at a tiny price. Now, remember that in order for this relationship to work, the intern needs to benefit as well. So make sure that they're learning and that you'll provide them with the glowing recommendations that they deserve. But do not miss the opportunity to put educated, ambitious, hungry people to work for you without the cost of hiring employees. If you need a website, contact your local college's computer science department. If you're looking for a new logo, call the local art school. If you need major management assistance, get in touch with an MBA student. Now, obviously not all interns will be invaluable, but if you hire correctly, it's hard to find somewhere you'll get more bang for your buck. Tip number four, utilize contractors and pay them a commission. When you're just starting out, you obviously need to spend a major chunk of your time and money on marketing and sales. But unless it's absolutely necessary, you shouldn't be bringing any of these professionals on as full-time employees. Hire them as contractors and pay them only in commission so that you'll never lose money having them work. Tip number five, take free publicity wherever you can get it. Now, this goes beyond making sure that your SEO and social media strategies are strong. There's a ton of free publicity out there waiting to be taken. If you're from a small town, contact your local papers and see if they'll write a story about your business. Or contact your college's alumni magazine and see if they'll do a story on you. You can also offer to be a speaker at local events related to your industry or to entrepreneurship in general. The more your name is out there, the more potential customers will hear about you and the more of them you'll see. Finally, make sure that you're taking advantage of all of the free resources available to you. Organizations like SCORE and the Small Business Development Centers Network can be amazing sources of free mentorship and can provide you access to experts and market research that would normally cost you thousands of dollars. Remember, every dollar saved without sacrificing results is a dollar of additional profit for your company. So make sure that you're only spending money where you need to to give your business the best shot at success. I hope implementing these tips will help your company thrive. Please share with me your tips for bootstrapping your business and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter for more advice for furthering your new venture. Mm -hmm.